back in the day, this was the deal. If you were a person and, and you wanted to have sex with somebody else, but like nobody else wanted to have sex with you, and you know, you, you weren't strong enough to hold anybody down, I mean. <laughs> You had to go, you had, this. how it was. You had to go out and you had to get a blow up doll and you had to fucking go out and get it. You had to fucking go out and get it, all right? You couldn't just order it off of an Amazon and some delivery guy shows up. He doesn't know what's in the box. You're standing there like Tom Hanks. Hey, how you doing? Great to see you. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck that, you have no idea what it is. Now. Dude, you had to go down and you had to fucking get this thing. You had to find a porno store, you had to work it out that was just far enough away from your house that no one's gonna recognize your car. You drive down at like 11 in the morning, who the fuck is gonna be there then, right? You'd park in the back on like a Tuesday, just sitting there in the car, psyching yourself up, like, <sighs> okay, I'm not hurting anybody, it's just an urge, just get in there. Okay, hand in the money, just get in there and get it done. You yank your hat down, you fuck, you walk in with all your courage. And then you get in there and be too many other perverts in there and you get all psyched out. So what you do is you just grab a bunch of videotapes and you walked up to the counter. You had to make it look like it was an impulse buy, right? And you're walking up and everything, all the creepy shit was behind the counter, right? Just fucking heads and feet, just an ass. Body parts, serial killer buffet. What fucking world am I entering? Oh my God, somebody's fucking a neck? Jesus Christ, right? Can you set it down? Just make it look real subtle. Okay, buddy, is that gonna be all? Uh, yeah, no, uh, maybe that, maybe that thing down the end with the surprise look on its face? Uh, maybe I'd like to take a shot at that, I don't know. The guy wraps it up and then you finally get it, you give him the money, you fucking run out to the car, and you have this whole weird emotion. You're like excited and you hated yourself. Thank God I finally did it! What the fuck is wrong with me? Just drive off. You go back to your little shitty fucking apartment and you had to blow it up quietly. So none of your neighbors heard, just like <laughs> Then you got excited, start going a little faster. <laughs> and just watching this thing slowly come into life, just like. And God forbid you got caught. Your roommate comes walking in, he's fucking a blow up doll! Dude, your life was over. So now, fast forward to about 2016, I'm in New York City, right? And I'm looking through the newspaper, or whatever, and I come across an article, and it's on this robot that for $10,000, you buy this thing, you can have sex with it, right? And that's what scares me, because everything gets better, right? Remember when airbags first came out? They just had one for the driver. <laughs> My family! <laughs> Okay, they're just gonna keep getting better and better and better. And these fucking nerds are not gonna be making any regular looking robot dolls, right? You know, some girl next door, you know, just some plain Jane, the chick your mom likes being like, well, there's a nice girl you can settle down with. She knows how to cook. Fuck that. They're gonna make Victoria's Secret supermodels, just absolutely like Paris runway looking supermodels. And you're gonna be able to come home to one of these things and it's gonna laugh at all your jokes. Ah, uh, 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 ah. Uh. It's gonna sit down and watch the game with you like, it doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> yes, it does. 